Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Rando Red Black version Comoran. This is a special episode because this is the first episode of the very first Let's Play on this channel. Um, so, what is it? We are doing a randomized run. We are only able to catch the Pokemon that are fire types and can learn Flamethrower, which is about 25% of all Pokemon. So we have a one-fourth chance to actually get a, a catchable encounter, which adds a lot of complexity to the game. Um, and we are doing a Coma Run, which is essentially a Nuzlocke with some thematic differences. First off, let's get a nice fiery name for the Rando Red Run. Um, hmm. I usually do some kind of French pun or something, but, uh, I was, um, hmm. Let's go with something themed to full restore. So, let's do, uh, our, let's do lowercase. So, I'm so excited. I haven't done a, a new run in this game forever. Um, do Rowan. Rowan? Rowan. Nah, just Rowan. Rowan it is. A uh, nice little random name. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't done a run in forever. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy the randomized nature of this run and just have fun. Because, honestly, not a lot of people are doing challenge runs anymore. Um, it's kind of died down from its previous popularity. Uh, but I'm hoping that this provides some different content for the mostly podcast oriented channel I have going on right now. So I hope you like the, oh God, the background for this, because I made the background for this video 13 or 14 months ago. I planned to get this started over a year ago, but just never got it right. I actually have the old videos of the original run I tried. Oh boy. But hopefully this will actually go well. So let's get some voice acting going on. <clears throat> so, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Rowan's house, so Rowan gets the first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box, actually. Uh, Rowan, you go first and take a peek. I want to meet the Pokemon right now, okay? Wow, you're antsy. So, Rowan is going to open this up, and we're going to see our randomized starters. So, we can only pick Pokemon that can learn Flamethrower, which I have all of them written down here, and Pokemon that are Fire-type. So let's, uh, mm, horsey. That would have been a really cool starter, but that is not on my list. Machop, that is actually on my list. They can learn flamethrower. Um, and over here, Pidgey, you cannot learn flamethrower. So we lucked out and we have a perfectly viable starter Pokemon. So we're gonna go with Machop. This is an interesting start. Um, I believe I have it set so that um, Pokemon evolve through level up if they would normally evolve through trade. Um, I hope I do. Uh, so we're going to have a battle here, and I hope, I think they'll have Horsey. Um, I really don't recall. Okay, Mia. Oh, it randomized their names too. Schoolgirl Mia. Ah, oh, that's fitting. Okay. So they have the Horsey, which means Charon has the super effective against my starter. Pokemon, but at least he doesn't have the water type, which would, you know, be a bit of a problem against a almost entirely fighting type or er, fire type team. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with Leer here because Low Kick is not gonna do a lot against a oh god against a very very liked Pokemon. Um, now we have to spam it because that bubble is terrifying. And this is before the uh, power up crease, the up crease increase. Come on, oh god, Machop. Um. Ooh, I need to get a naming scheme. Um, I think I'll go with... Uh, is colors a bit too cliche? Oh, smoke screen. That's going to be bad. Um, okay, so I was actually... Fan I, I was blown away by how many Pokemon can learn Flamethrower. It's 25% of all Pokemon available in this game. Um, which is excellent. Like, that that's absolutely great. Oh, God. This is really close. Okay, good. They're just... I think it's programmed so that they... Uh, spam their status move so that you don't lose. Um, where are we going to name Machop? I've always wondered what's the 
story behind those things on their head. Okay, we got him. All right, we got Horsey down. Ah, Machop. Female Machop, hmm. Um. Oh, gosh. That was, well, it was a long battle, so it explains the mess. Um, I hope that this doesn't um, take away from the channel. Uh, we are still going to be doing podcasts and other events. Um, but uh, I want to try doing some more Let's Plays on here. Um, and hopefully I will be able to make something out of the old uh, um, uh, Moemon Let's Play. Um, if you want more Pokemon, you can go onto my main channel and go looking back for the Moemon Let's Play. It was a randomized Nuzlocke that we did on the channel. And it was it was fantastic, but it you know it uh, didn't we didn't get to complete it, um, and it is a bit choppy, it is a bit rough. So Wayne, all right, let's go for another battle here. Um, this Pidgey is well, at least we're neutral against it. Um, I think I'm gonna have to use Leer because all these Pokemon are super super light. We have a really tough start with um, this move, this move low kick. Uh, that we have here because it's really not going to help us that much but at least it'll make it really easy for um capturing pokemon oh god the first okay no i was thinking that we were gonna have trouble because some of the first pokemon in this game are dark and normal but i finally become a trainer everything starts here oh I get... how are i screwed up his voice come on i gotta get something oh what they both have smoke screen or sand attack what the hell guys not okay oh man that sucks uh, that's really funny. So we're doing this in black version because the original idea for this was going to be a schema run, which was going to be, we're going to make a custom list of all the Pokemon available in the region, um, not randomized, and do schemas, which would basically be like monotype runs, but extended to any Pokemon that fits the theme. And the theme was going to be um, uh, fire and electricity. So it wasn't. It was going to be all fire types and all electric types, uh, and then Pokemon that are fiery and Pokemon that are electricy. And I made custom lists, and me and my friends on the channel were going to do all these schema runs and actually designed uh, layouts for all of them. Um, but schema runs did not take off. I'm hoping that coma runs do though. Um, yes, we got it. Ah, oh, we got both of them. All right. Um, yeah, what, what, what am I gonna name you? Um, um, a female Machop on a, on a rando red team. Um, I'm looking around me and trying to think of something. Uh, that's not too cliche. Ah, shit. Oh, well. I'll think of something on the spot. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, uh, no running shoes? Okay. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Uh, please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. Hey, I'll be waiting for you in front of the research lab, okay? Oh, wait, I gotta go home first. Thanks for having us over. Um, I hope my mic... My mic's having some difficulties. Uh, it used to be so clear but now it's very bassy i feel like it's running its wear you know and i should probably replace it soon um your pokemon is going great don't forget your cross transceiver i always called it the x transceiver i just missed that one little line that tells you how to pronounce it um yep better get going whoa kind of spazzed out there for a second um oh it's so pretty uh i don't think Ooh. uh i'll get the potion later um, okay, so how are we doing for time on this episode? We have done about 10 minutes. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, we gotta go get Bianca. Um, my bad. Uh, so, let's go get Bianca. I think she went this way, right? Yeah, Bianca's got that dad. No, it is, it is Charon's house. Oh, my bad. Uh, I went to the wrong house. This is a great start to the video. Um... What should Machop be named? I, don't, I hope I get a chance to do this. Yeah, here's the whole dad situation. Um, I actually have never played Black or White 1. I played uh, the second games, but I didn't. I never played this one. So it's going to be exciting and, you know, I might have some surprise reactions for once on a Let's Play. Uh, I think that blind runs are just 
the some of the only things people can watch nowadays. It's really saturated. <clears throat> Hi there, I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We we know your name. You you live in our town. Come on, come come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I'm researching when and how the Pokemon called... Hmm. So that's her thing. I was wondering, because every region has their professor that does their thing. Um, you know, the Pokedex, and then... Yes! Nickname. Uh, I, I'll get back to that in a sec. I gotta do this. Um, uh, red eyes. Hmm. What about... Oh, man, I wish I thought of a naming theme. I was going to do colors or something, but... Um, the the pattern on their head kind of reminds me of like cornrows or stuff. So I think I'll just, I think I'll name you Corn. Let's call you Corn. I think that's cute. Corn. Corn. Yes. Corn. Our starter. Porn. <laughs> uh, I love nicknames that totally won't make sense when they evolve. <laughs> so um. Second generation, Professor uh, Elm, he was studying breeding. And then uh, Birch was studying, I don't really remember. I think it was evolution or regional things or just new Pokemon. Uh, generation four was definitely evolution and history and stuff like that. Generation five apparently was where Pokemon came from originally, which you would think would be something for generation four. That's why I usually attribute them to the dream world and all that. And Generation 6 was Fairy Type and um, uh, Mega Evolution, of course. All right, let's go. Uh, is there anything over here? Nope. All right. Um, so hopefully I want to get our first encounter before the end of the video. Um, Rowan. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I want to get that first encounter because I hope it'll be something on this list because um, we really lucked out with the Machop. Uh, that's going to be really, really fun. Um, and one for you too, Bianca. As for you, Rowan, um, I'll go back and get the potion off screen. <laughs> Power to destroy a bedroom. Um, yeah, uh, man, what an exciting fight. Low kick, low kick, low kick, low kick. Um, this is where they have that weird contest, competition, right? To catch the most Pokemon. Yeah, uh, not gonna happen with me. Come on, let's go. So, uh, yeah, um, this list is extensive. There are a lot of Pokemon that can learn Flamethrower. Funny enough, the only fire type in the game that cannot learn Flamethrower and actually is not on my list is Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat cannot learn Flamethrower or Overheat. Um, so, I mean, that's what I said. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I got tutorial here. Uh, so I'll use this to keep talking about this yeah, Rotom, I'm not putting on my list because I'm only taking Pokemon that can learn Flamethrower, which is every single uh, fire type and all these other Pokemon. I have, you know, I don't think Machop can learn Flamethrower, but I think Machamp can or something. And that counts. I I'm counting that. Otherwise, it'd be ridiculous. Come on. It'd probably go from 25% of all Pokemon to 11. <laughs> fire types are exceedingly rare, so that's what's going to make this a very exciting run. Um, cause I could end up with five fire types on my team or I could not. <laughs> um, so about the coma run, I, I think I've talked about it enough on this channel, but I think on the second episode, I will, uh, talk more about the coma run. Um, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do our first encounter. Uh, so we're doing hard mode rules, Nuzlocke rules and all that. Um, but the coma run changes a bit of that, uh, the most important thing to know is the catching restrictions. So let's run here and get our first encounter. We have to try to catch the first eligible thing we see, and we have only one chance to catch it, and only one catch per area. So let's see what we get. Come on, come on. Hoot hoot, I don't think you're on the list, buddy. Uh... Yeah, you're not in the list. All right, let's run. Uh, let's try again. Come on, something on the list. All right, come on. This episode is running a little long. Um, actually, I don't know what length of episode you guys want me to do. 
Um, come on. Let's go. Let's get an eligible catch. Is this patch of grass only the one Pokemon? Damn. Um, Hoot Hoot would have been a cool thing to start off a journey with, though. Oh, for a sec. Come on. Let me go. Come on, corn. You got to run faster. All right. New patch of grass. New patch of grass. Let's go. Come on, fire type. Come on, fire type. Purloin, you're not on the list. Uh, you would be all the way. Sorry, just checking the thing. No, but a watch hog would have actually been on the list. So that's disappointing. Um, okay, last chance. Come on. If I don't get a encounter for the area i don't get an encounter for the area uh, come on there there's there's got to be three available pokemon in this section right um i hope i don't have to edit around to get to the encounter that would really suck uh no come on i just want an eligible pokemon please let me get something countable um come on corn you gotta find something for me find a Pokemon that can join our team. This is a very extensive list. I'm sure that... Ugh. No. Okay, please tell me there's another patch of grass after this. Uh, yes, got away safely. So yeah, I might just not get an encounter for this area, so we're off to a great, fantastic start with only one Pokemon on our team. Um, damn it. Holy shit, that sucks. Um, let's save, uh, over here, save the game, uh, route one. Back in my day, we started on route 547 million. Um, okay. It seems like this route has no eligible catches. That, that's a shame. Um, I don't know, like, I, I haven't played this game, so I don't know how many patches of grass are left. Um, I, uh. Guys, yeah, oh, Oshawott. Huh, I guess that's technically an Oshawott. Um, all right, we'll finish up this conversation, and then we'll see you guys next episode. Uh, let's do some more voice acting. <clears throat> you and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor, right now I'm in front of... Oh, right now I'm in front of... Uh, let's get one of the guys talking. Oh, nope, did, we just didn't open our mouths. All right, um, so here's the first town... Ah, damn it. All right, let's try once more. Okay, please. Oh. Ugh. Well, I'll see you guys next episode. Uh, this is Pat from the TPT Network and the Full Restore channel and the Pat Plays channel. I would like you all to check out the channels in the upper right there. Uh, those are all our close friends. Please subscribe to all of us for fantastic content and leave a comment to tell me what do you want to happen with this run length of videos, changes, what to talk about, absolutely anything. Uh, all right. Goodbye, everybody.